Okay, so um, I started working with the Federal Fire Department in 2007 and Joe came in um, early January of 2008 and when Joe came in he didn't have a uniform on and he was just wearing an Aloha shirt and jeans and um, the chief introduced him to me and I was like who's this guy coming in here no uniform on he's not even ready this is his first day of work yeah she kind of dismissed me <laughs> the first time she was just like oh yeah whatever and she looked busy and she just kind of walked off you know, every single morning he would either call my phone or he'll come to my desk and um, bother me being the nice guy that I am and I had you know I had extra time so I'd go over there help her out with with her uh, you know whatever she was working on you know try and help lead her in the right direction and I'll just be like uh, you know kind of giving him the vibe of not interested leave me alone I will listen to my iPod I guess I fed the animal because you know once once I helped her that one time you know she'd keep coming around asking for help hey how do you do this you know how do you write this he would ask me he would go so what are you doing and I'm like working and he's like oh what kind of work I'm like I'm writing a report. Oh, what kind of report? Just asked her out, like, you know, nonchalant, you know, just kind of putting it out there. And yeah, I guess she was, she was perceptive to do it and she said, yeah, so that, that was it. He would tell me, I think we should go out sometime. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I think you're wrong. And he was like, no, I think I'm right. I think you should go out with me. And I was like, no, we shouldn't. I guess you could say to the point where she thought I'd come to work and screw around because she was working so hard. And I just made it look easy, so she thought I was playing around. Um, our first date was at Ige's. And um, we had some drinks and talking stories with him. And I was like, oh, he's, he's a very smart guy. He was very... Um, intelligent and he was in the military so you know he traveled so I think maybe like third or fourth date I'm like I told Angie I was like hey you know she keeps hooking us up with these free donuts and she's like really I was like yeah man she must like us and so and he's like no seriously look watch we're gonna get it again and I was like okay so I started looking around and I was like uh no stupid everybody gets that <laughs> like you're not special it's everybody gets it it's free and she's like you know what they're giving it to everybody it's free and i was like ah and so he mentioned he's like oh when you go to disneyland can you bring back something goofy and i was like oh my god this guy he loves goofy and that's like my favorite favorite i'm like obsessed with goofy yeah we went to disneyland a few times already and every time we go, it's, she goes, she's automatically 10 years old again. And I just got to sit there and eat it and just, just watch. Short story is I got ditched for Goofy. Like flat out dropped here, hold my purse, and she bailed on me. Just dropped. You know, I noticed, you know, I came to realize that she's just, she's just really goal oriented. And, you know, when it's work, when it's time to work, she works. And, you know, there's, you know, there's something admirable about that, that, you know, she, she wants to do stuff on her own and she wants to get it done. He accepts me for me and he's never told me that I need to change, never told me I wasn't good enough. Um, he always tells me I'm beautiful and um, he lets me be me. All right, so we're married now, we did it. Uh, I just wanted to say that. I love you, and I am ready to spend the rest of my life with you. Babe, I want to tell you that I love you so much. I always got your back. I can't believe after eight years, we're finally here, and we're finally married, and we're going to get to spend the rest of our lives together, hopefully have some kids, and 
I just can't wait for our new adventure together. I love you so much and thank you for everything. Love you.